Three month old conjoined twins successfully separated after an 11 hour surgery right in North Texas at Cook Children's Hospital in Fort Worth. We told you about them yesterday. Today, ABC's Maria Villarreal has an exclusive interview with the lead surgeons. This morning, three month old sisters Amy Lynn and Jamie Lynn are one step closer to heading home. I have to feel like this was a tough time, so. Yeah, that's why I wore the Superman shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, James Finley and Amanda Arseniega were surprised to find out they were pregnant with twins. She was looking and she's like, oh, there's the baby's head. And I was like, well, if that's the baby's head, I was like, what's that? She's like, that's the other baby's head. Yeah, we were like, I was like, what? Yeah. But at that same doctor's appointment, they learned their daughters were conjoined. On the ride home, we were like quiet. And it was kind of sad. We were like thinking, why us? Amy Lynn and Jamie Lynn are Omphalopagus twins, joined at the abdomen and sharing a liver. Before the babies were born, the family started working closely with a team of specialists at Cook Children's Medical Center to plan for their safe delivery and eventual separation. Was there something that really stuck out for you? Every conjoint twin has a unique anatomy. They're all different, um, no matter how you kind of go through it. They're going to give you some surprises here and there. And so their and their personalities, they are kind of we got one little feisty one and one that's much more reserved. More than 50 doctors, nurses and anesthesiologists coming together to help safely separate the babies. While one baby's surgical procedure went seamlessly, the other's wound has not yet closed. But doctors say both will recover. Nearly 12 hours after surgery, Amy Lynn and Jamie Lynn were rolled out of the operating room and are now in their own beds. You have two babies <gasps> on two separate beds. Oh some very happy moments for everybody involved, both the families as well as the doctors. You know, these little girls have spent their entire life inside that hospital, but the family is hoping they will be able to get home sometime very soon in the near future. Doctors also say they will be keeping track of these little girls well into their teenage years. Mireya Villarreal, ABC News, Austin, Texas.